My name is Timothy Koten. I'm doing an MPhil in Engineering for Sustainable Development and I'm a Gates Cambridge Scholar this year. I would say I've always had a passion for technology right from my infancy and if you spoke with my older sisters or my parents, they would tell you how I always used to break apart all my toys and destroy all the radio sets at home. My program specifically focuses on how engineering or engineers, people with engineering background like me, can use our training, can use our, the technologies that we develop, can use our everyday practice to contribute to this concept of sustainable development. To be honest, I think the traditional model of sending aid to African countries, going to communities, viewing them as victims and trying to come in as the hero, the savior, is actually part of the problem. We need a model of support where interventions are focused on empowering people to think about, to develop solutions for their own problems in a way that is sustainable over the long term, so you wouldn't have to keep coming back and providing additional aid. I'll give you a story. So a little bit over a decade ago, there were more landlines in Manhattan than in all of Africa. But today, there are more mobile phones in Africa than in the entire USA or Europe. And I think that is a significant development. I, I think technology use is increasing a lot in the African continent and is actually one of the drivers for development on the continent. Most people can send SMS messages. Most people even go online on their phones. So people are sort of ICT literate already. So the next question is, what additional value-added services can we deploy on top of these cell phones? And this is the motivation for why I started focusing more on ICT-based, technology-based solutions that allow people to use mobile phones and internet access, growing internet access to either improve healthcare or in expand access to education. After completing my undergraduate studies in the US last year, um, I co-founded a startup in Ghana, which is called eCoach Solutions. So the objective of the startup is to use ICT tools, mobile telephony, internet access, to improve education access and quality in Ghana. I'm excited to say that today we have about close to 5,000 people already signed up to the website. And as much as this has been a part-time venture, and it's something that I'm hoping to continue working on and develop into a full-time activity. Ultimately, um, I see myself as an entrepreneur, um, specifically a social entrepreneur. And what this means is I see myself developing services, organizations, companies that address social problems, but that do so in a sustainable way. I am extremely grateful for the opportunity given by the Gates Cambridge Scholarship to study at one of the most prestigious universities in the world. What I am most inspired by is the focus on bringing together a group of young minds, a group of people passionate about the humanities, about the arts, about science, but ultimately, people who are interested in using their future careers to improve the lives of others. And I think these are values that strongly resonate with me, and this is the part about the Gates Cambridge Scholarship that I am most attracted to.